Hello guys, <clears throat> I'm yet setting up so I haven't officially started yet. I'm just gonna, for you yet arriving, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna announce it out on Facebook and on Instagram so you know what I'm doing right now. Can you hear me okay? And how's music uh, in how loud is the music and stuff? Tell me if I if I'm not talking straight into the mic enough or something. I'll try try having the mic right there. Uh, the song that's playing right now is uh, a Faithbreaker song. That's the side project that me and my drummer from Area Summit has. And that's what we're gonna write lyrics to today. Um, so just give me one uh, one second, guys. I'll be with you and answering questions and stuff uh, in uh, in just a second. I just need to get it out on Instagram first. In the meantime, you can groove to the music a little bit. <laughs> Let's see here. Copy some links, copy some pictures. I'm so slow with all these guys. Cat is much, much faster than I am in doing all this prep work. Then Kat told me that I have to do um, what is it called? Story on Instagram. So we'll just have to take a picture. Well, that's not that's not a good picture. I don't know if you can see that. That is not how it's a picture is supposed to look this camera on this phone is fine. it's terrible mm, let's see here Oh, I can. There's the size. And let's see, a lyric, writing, stream, live. Right now at
my story. I'm I'm never using my story, but I should I need to get better on it. I know that I should. And then a Facebook post. Uh, in cats compis are. this works yes what do you think about the, the thumbnail I am having for I don't know if you saw it but it's me with glasses it's not a look I don't have glasses for for you who don't know but um, just keep playing that music actually um, tell me what do you think about the mu the levels of uh, of music and um, and my voice if it's okay or not the music is kind of supposed to be it's not supposed to be background music but because um, I'm actually gonna write the lyrics to these tracks so they're supposed to be a little bit louder than background music I guess but you're still supposed to be able to hear me uh, good. So hi to all that are here. Uh, welcome to the stream today. It was quite a while ago that I streamed last. Um, and um, I thought that I talked about doing a like lyric writing video. So um, I thought that a lyric writing stream might be even more fun because then you can interact as I write and you can see me work through the process. So, um, yeah, hope you like the concept. <clears throat> uh, Homsa asks, uh, tell me what the sixth song is playing in. As I said before, it's, um, it's, uh, where I, it's four tracks playing right now, uh, over and over again. And um, they're made by me and the drummer of my other band, Area Summit. And this is a side project called Faith Breaker. And that's what we're gonna learn, write the lyric to today. Sounds good, maybe lower music a little bit, yeah. I, I, I understand that it might be a little bit loud. I'll, I'll pinch it down a little bit. Tell me if, if you can hear a difference there, if it's better now. Oh, perfect. I'll, I'll twist it up a little bit more. That's something in, in between, I think. Um, Alexandra asks, uh, how, ra how is Rascal left the, the epileptic attack, uh, seizure he had this morning? And he's doing fine. He's always a little bit tired after, after his seizures. Um, and it was a quite like strong seizure as well. Um, but it's the first one he's had in at least, what, what is it, it's five weeks now. So, it's uh, since we started using this medicine, it's still a lot better than before, because before it was like once every second week. And now it has been five weeks since the last one, and before that it was nine weeks. So, it's actually working, but we got a call from the vet this morning, and we decided to up. Uh, his medicine dose uh, 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 a little more so we're gonna do that and, and hope that uh, we get rid of the seizures altogether because um, that's the goal um, and hopefully 
if we get rid of the seizures with this um, increased medicine, or the increased amount of medicine, then um, we need we need to check uh, that his liver is fine with this amount of medicine as well. So we, um, all the yeah, we're gonna go in for testing in a couple of weeks to see that everything is okay. Uh, Michelle asks, do you ever play GTA? Um, I do not. I used to play the old versions of, the, of GTA uh, as like San Andreas and Vice City and stuff like that. Um, I've al always enjoyed playing it, uh, playing it like single player and it, of course it's also fun multiplayer as well and I think that I would I like uh, GTA Online a lot uh, if I played with my friends. But when it came out, it was so expensive, so I decided not to buy it because I was playing other other games at the moment. But um, yeah, I think I, I'd uh, really enjoy the game, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. I <clears throat> Where's the puppy? Uh, Rascal is out in the living room with cat, and cat's recording a video. Uh, Menace is below the desk here, sleeping actually. Um, we were out on a walk when we went to the pharmacy this morning to buy some more Rascal's medicine. Uh, so we were out for a walk with him uh, and he tends to get like... For Rascal, a walk is just whatever, he doesn't get that tired from walk, but since Menace has to walk so many more steps and everything surrounding him is new and so both head and body get a lot of work from going on this walk. So uh, he's uh, all pooped after the walk. Song can be like 10% low, otherwise completely fine. I'll I'll put it down a little bit more. I know that I'm reading comments that are a bunch of minutes old now, but lower it a little bit more. See if that's that's any better. Yeah, everyone say different things, so it's it's hard. But keep just keep uh, tell me what you think about the sound, and I'll just go for the what the majority rules. Hello, Ella from Umio. Getting my knee tattoo tomorrow. Um, have you ha had yours done? I have not tattooed my knee, but I do like knee tattoos a lot. Um, I have uh, a bunch of tattoos on my right leg, lower leg, um, and I really like the look of like uh, a full leg sleeve. Um, I think that's that's really really cool. So um, after I'm all done with my upper body, I'm gonna start moving on to my legs and. Um, at least the right leg to start with. I have most. Uh, I only have old school motives on my right leg at the moment. Um, but you can go see that in uh, my tattoo video, I guess. Um, but I, I like. Uh, I think uh, knee, knee tattoos are cool, and um, yeah, hope it goes well. Uh, I think. I think the um, both. I have both elbows tattoo then it's kind of the same thing so um, yeah it's a weird it feels weird tattooing a place like that because it's, the, the skin is so uh, unsensitive yet at the same time um, the bone is like uh, it's a really weird feeling since it's like um, it's a more more of a weird feeling than it is pain, in my opinion. Um, and the the weirdness is like it weighs up for the pain. Kind of, it's, it's as bad tattooing that place, even though it might not be as painful because it's very uncomfortable. Um, but I mean, it's definitely doable. So I'm not. I, I don't mean to scare anyone. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm a little bit curious, Tom, though, but uh, what are you getting tattooed on your knee? I want to know. I like the music. Thanks, Ernani. Um, and hello to everyone who said hello. 
since then. Nice pair of headphones, thanks. <laughs> it's just a basic pair of steel series headphones with a little blue glow on them. They're actually really comfortable and uh, the sound is great in them. Uh, a good pair of headphones for the, that price and it's also... Now I use this microphone right now, I think, right? Am I using this microphone? Am I... I have, I have to see that I'm not using this microphone. Uh, or I am? I'm stupid, guys. Let's see now. Um, how's the sound now? I should have changed the microphone so I actually have the the microphone in front of me. Um, tell me if you uh, hear any difference in the sound. You should be able to hear some difference, but um, it should be better. Um, or tell me if it's all the same because I, then it hasn't, then I haven't changed it correctly. Um, uh, Lifera, Lipifera asks. Uh, I was wondering, do you know or listen to Leo Mar Moracchioli? Moracchioli? Can't pronounce that <laughs> correctly, but. Uh, I I do not know of him or her. I guess it's a guy, because Leo is a guy's name in Sweden. But uh, no, I have not heard of him, her, and uh, yeah. T what what uh, what is it? What kind of music is it? Or what kind of artist is that person? Um, Gonna be an inter interesting stream, yeah, I hope so. I'm just gonna need to get through all this stuff before I can actually start writing, because I need to address all of you guys. Thanks for coming by and watching, by the way. This is always fun to do. Uh, how long am I going to stream? Well, um, I don't have a time set up, so I'm just gonna stream until you get tired of me, or... I'm all out of ideas, or yeah, everything just starts starts to calm down a bit. Um, I don't have any uh, where I need to be in a certain amount of time, so I am I'm planning to go on for a while, um, but no no time set. Now it's a bit too low. I'm gonna heighten it a little bit. It's like fine-tuning, uh, just put, uh, putting it up a few bars and down a few bars. Um, I like your sound of your, your bands, thanks a lot, that's a, a huge compliment for me. Um, are you playing the guitars? No, I am not. The drummer is playing the guitars uh, and the bass and he... Uh, for, for this it's programmed drums right now, it's not real drums on this these tracks, but I guess these are drafts though um, and he's currently he's currently recording the bass uh, I think he was gonna do all bass for this track, these four tracks today uh, and then re-upload them, so uh, since they're starting to get done um, and they're not mixed and mastered yet by the way, so it's just still drafts, but um, since they're starting to get done, uh, I'm gonna start writing the lyrics to them as well. But the only part I have in the band is the vocalist, but I do also... So I um, He's a lot better uh, than me at playing guitar, uh, so he usually writes stuff, and then I comment on that stuff and say, could you do this instead, could you add this? Could you maybe add another uh, guitar track do that sounds like this? And I, like I, um, 
I'm more of the guy that change, like I have the song in my mind and I, I think about, okay, I want to sing it this way and this part would sound better like this and maybe you should change the drum beat to this one. Um, so that's mostly what I do and he actually um, makes it happen. So he's really, really good at that and he deserves all the credit for it. So I'm just the guy with the, yeah, with the wish, vision, I guess. <laughs> but he's really talented and he's really good. <clears throat> it's like deathcore, I think. Oh, yeah, you could call it deathcore. Um, I um, I have really tried to not get stuck in in the genre um, swamp, so to say, because um, I don't really care what genre it is. It's just like it's all music to me. It's all metal to me. Um, and some people get into it and starts like fighting over what it's supposed to be called. And I can't be arsed with that stuff. It's just uh, supposed to be heavy, like hard hitting and heavy. That's what this music is meant to be. Um, and this is also a lot slower in pace than Area Summit is, and a lot supposed to be a little bit more like beat down, uh, hard hitting metal. Will we be able to watch this video later? Uh, can't hang out, but I want to see the process. Um, yes, I. if I remember correctly, um, the stream gets uploaded as a video to YouTube once uh, I finish the stream. So um, that's how it's supposed to work. So you should be able to watch this afterwards, yeah. Bro, what's up? I'm new here. Welcome, Vin Laser. It's all good. Just writing some lyrics, or gonna gonna write some lyrics rather. Um, are you gonna release some album from the other band? Yes, we plan to do an EP. That's uh, this is the draft of these tracks that we want to record. So we're gonna use these four tracks, make an EP out of them. Um, so this is all the like bass recording for everything and then we're gonna uh, start mixing it and mastering it and fine-tuning everything but this is the draft of the the tracks uh, what time is it over here it's 1402 so uh, it's just uh, it's just past two in the day not in the night Our dog was also an epileptic, uh, epileptic. She was completely fine, lived for like 11 years, which is okay for a Labrador. Yeah. Um, most dogs uh, that have epilepsy, epilepsy uh, have a good, full life. It, um, as long as you find the right meds, then it shouldn't affect the, affect them too much. Sometimes the meds can be a bit strong, which can. Uh, shorten their lifespan because it wears them down uh, the, the, it wears down the liver and the kidneys and stuff like that so um, if you have a strong kind of medicine because all dogs are, uh, or not all dogs but you use different medicine for different di different levels of epilepsy I guess um, and we're using a, a pretty strong medicine right now so it's going to affect his kidneys and, uh, and liver in the long run but this is defin defin definitely the way to go. Is it the same medicine for Asco but with a bigger dose? Yes, it is. We're stepping up the dose 33%. Um, if you can, yeah. It's going to be a 33% increase in, in the medicine. God, now a bunch of comments says it's too low, but I know these comments are a few minutes old, so I don't know. I, I bet I'm gonna like I'm gonna put it up a little bit now, and then people are gonna be like, "Oh well, I that was a few minutes ago. Now it's actually too loud again." Put it up 
putting it up a few more bars. <laughs> I hope you like the music, by the way. Um, at this moment, I mean, it's just instrumental metal, really. But it works, uh, it works good to have in the background, I guess. Good morning, Tony. Uh, he will read these comments in like four minutes, yeah. Uh, exactly, that is true. Um, I am kind of grandpa with my tech. <laughs> but can you do this? I, w I would do the PewDiePie share uh, back. back. It's not a backflip, but the, the lean back. But I don't want to wake uh, Menace up. He's sleeping under the... Under the desk, I'll, if he wakes up later, I'll I'll take him up to the webcam so you can see him. But he's all he's very tired right now. Oh yes, stop tapping it. it that that was the microphone <laughs> that I was tapping. Much better now. Oh, that's since I I changed the microphone. This little headset microphone sounds way clearer than your desk mic. Okay. Your voice is so much better. What, what I did, I changed from the headset mic to the desk uh, desk mic that I have. I can show you the, it's the Arosi mic actually. I can show you how it looks. It's a big, big chunk of mic. Look at this. It's really big. But um, like in the best thing you can do is to speak up here. This is like the the range that you should be from the mic when you're speaking to it. I don't know if it, if it uh, maybe it's too loud when I'm here right now because I have it a little bit louder since it stands on the desk. But the, these kind of microphones are supposed to be pretty close to your mouth when you're speaking to them. But that's my Erosi microphone, and it's a very powerful tool. You just have to be able to know how to. Um, how to use the settings um, and how to set it up to get a good sound and to be honest I'm not uh, too familiar with with the mic yet so I, d I, I know I don't have the perfect settings for it at the moment uh, and especially when you go between programs like if I'm using it in TeamSpeak I might want a certain uh, uh, sound or a certain volume and stuff like that and when I'm doing this I might need something else because different programs have different uh, input levels and stuff like that oh, I can show you this as well by the way this is my other recording mic this is what I use to record um, when we record these lyrics for example this is my Shure, Shure mic it's a PG28 and uh, it's a really God. It's a really good mic. This is a great microphone. Uh, very much uh, uh, worth its money. I think. I think it was about two or three thousand Swedish uh, crowns, which would be about. I'm just guess. Uh, I don't know what how strong the dollar is, but I guess like two two hundred uh, or like three hundred. $250 maybe um, if it yeah so it's a great microphone and if you're gonna record I, I really recommend this microphone it's been great for me and nothing is ever broken or gone wrong with it but that's the, the one I use when I record music and this Arosi one is a little bit more convenient for gaming since I, it's a desktop mic and the other one is meant to be on a pole. Um, so yeah, both are good but I'm using them for different purposes. Now the sound is almost crystallic, that's good. That's what I want. Few people feel it's that the desktop mic is not as good, it's a little bit bass bassy. 
And uh, I get that. You might think it's worse, you might think it's better, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one anyway. It's supposed to be better, so I'm just hoping for, for it to be. Uh, here's the the answer to who Leo Mor uh, Moraccioli was. Froglip Studios makes a lot of metal covers on YouTube. Uh, I don't believe you haven't heard about him. Maybe I've seen his video but didn't know his name or something. I'll, I'll check it out later. Um, I, prob I probably... Uh, have heard about him and and uh, just don't know or didn't know his name. We just like watched the video in passing What do you think about Vali Vikernes and Bursum? Um, I think that whole story is very sick and demented and um, Like that man is just weird um, it's a very interesting documentary to listen to. Um, I've listened to the podcast, the documentary of it, um, and it's very interesting to to listen to. But it's uh, still a, a very sick and weird man, in my opinion. I like the content on your YouTube so far. Can you do a Q&A for Menace? Great from Holland. <laughs> yeah, I can. Um, I remember we did a Q&A with Rascal uh, a long while back. Um, so we could definitely do one Menace themed Q&A as well. And maybe throw in some Rascal questions in there too. Let's see, am I, am I even catching up to, to the questions here? I think I am, slowly but surely. What's your thought about Sabaton? I think Sabaton is a good band, but I don't really uh, listen to Sabaton. Um, do you think they're, they're a good band though? Uh, what's your long time goal with your band? Well, it's hard to set a long time goal, but um, if I... If I um, Describe it as a dream instead that that would be that I would be able to tour with the band uh, and be successful with the music and be able to live off of music that that would be the the dream goal with a band and uh, even though even if that were to happen that dream goal were to happen then I would still do YouTube but I would do it from the road instead and I mean of course I have a life here with dogs and Katrin now, but we'd make it work somehow. You're, uh, I would never be on the road all the time, but it would be fun to go around and tour around the world a bit. Do you play live gigs? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, not with Faithbreaker, but with Ariat Summit. Faithbreaker is just a studio project at the moment. How did your band start? Um, it's a constellation of a few, like, we started the band, um, I've always, or uh, for a very long time I've been playing music with the drummer uh, in this band, and um, we, we decided to start a band a long while back now, like eight years or something. And um, then we just got some, some people in there. The, the band was called The Black Freighter at first. And, um, but since then we have changed both guitarists that was in there from the beginning. We had an extra vocalist. We had two vocalists in the, be in the beginning. But we, that, that's not the case anymore. And we also had another bass player when we, we began. So me and the drummer is the only one or are the only one that are uh, there from the or like left from the start but um, Matthias Katrin's brother has been in the band for um, at least seven years uh, so he's been almost from the start um, 
um, and then the bass position and the second guitar position has been changed during the years, um, especially the bass position. But uh, the the other guitarist has also been in the band for a long time now, so um, I'm re I really um, I really enjoy this constellation that we have right now, and I think it was it works out really well. You listen to metalcore. Uh, I'm going to see Archie Sex and while she sleeps tonight, and I'm super psyched. You should be super psyched. That's uh, um, I uh, I'm not a huge fan of while she sleeps, but I uh, I think that all she takes are amazing, um, and also I saw them live maybe half a year ago. Um, and Architects is just such a good live band. They they have an amazing live show, and usually the crowd makes it very good too because there's such a good kind of music to play live and get like the crowd interaction going so you should be psyched and uh, I envy you a bit I hope you have fun Sonny 10 minutes later us. oh my god I thought I was catching up where do you get your inspiration for your lyrics well um, everyday life and uh, to be honest there's a lot of like um, mythical uh, things that I wrote about, like not fantasy I'd say, but uh, things that would be in your nightmares. And most of the lyrics are inspired by anti-religious messages, um, and that's what I like to write about. Un anti-religious messages and uh, a lot of gore, that's usually what's in, in, in the lyrics I write right now. Mm. Hello to everyone new that has joined the stream. I hope you're doing fine and well. Perfect sound now. I hope that's from the current settings. Uh, oh, some background music in either. Well, thanks. Thank you. Uh, do you like black metal? Yes, I do. Um, I don't like all black metal. Um, I'm a little bit more picky when it comes to black metal. Um, but there is uh, some black metal acts that I do enjoy. Come in France for your tour, I had to come see. Thanks. Yeah, um, I'd love to go to France. I've never been to France. I've been to Italy, I've been to Greece, and uh, like Austria, so I've been around, kind of, or close, but I've never been to Spain or France. Are you planning to do any th Twitch streams? Um, I'm actually starting, I started this new game called Volken. Uh, which is uh, kind of a mix uh, between Diablo 3 and Path of Exile and uh, um, it's just in alpha phase right now so it's in the, the early stages but I'm thinking I might stream when I play that so it's a single player game at the moment um, so uh, I was uh, thinking I might stream and uh, play some Vulcan but I, I, I do want to do Twitch streams I really enjoy doing them so um, I just need to get the thumb out of my butt and do it really because um, yeah it would be nice if I could reach uh, uh, to become an affiliate at Twitch uh, and there's some stats you need to f fulfill to be able to do that but if I were able to fulfill those and that would need like a month of uh, a bunch of um, couple of streams uh, with a certain amount of viewers and a certain amount of hours streamed and yeah, you have to fulfill a couple of goals, and when you do, during a month, then you'll get an affiliate, and then you can have the subscribe button, or you can have subscribers, because you can't at the moment, if you're not an affiliate. So, I should just try uh, streaming a lot for a month, and trying to get 
get affiliate on Twitch. Because I, if I did, then I would definitely keep going and doing it more. Hello, Dingle Dong Manfred. Or Rudy. Did you check Rise of the North Star? Uh, I did a post on them on Compisar. I have not done it yet. I I am I will do it. There's so many stuff I always say that I will check out and I forgot ha or I forget half of them. Uh, do you add subscribers on Steam? Yes, I do. Um, you can add me on. I can actually post my Steam name. Or that's not supposed to be in caps, but. Uh, that's I just uh, in the chat I just posted my Steam name and you should be able to add that and I'll just accept you on Steam. Um, and I do play games with uh, with my subscribers if they want to. I have done that before. Uh, what's your opinion about Blackcraft? Uh, I wear their clothes. I think that. Um, they have some, uh, I think some of their clothes are a bit much for me, or not, not much, I don't, I think, I don't think, um, how do I put this nicely? I think some of the clothes might be a little bit cringy and, and uh, try to be cool but don't really get there for me, but they also have a bunch of clothes that are really cool that I do like a lot, so it's a little bit 50-50 for me. Uh, and of course, like you, you shouldn't like all of the clothes on a clothing homepage. Uh, that would be weird. Um, but I do like a lot of their clothes, and uh, so I'm um, I definitely support that site, and uh, I think they have cool stuff. Your favorite bands? Oh, there's so many. I'll give you what I listen mostly to: Infant Annihilator right now. Um, and my biggest inspiration and biggest idols within the metal scene would be Black Dolly Murder. Um, so that's that's those two, but I do listen to a lot of more bands. Favorite Star Wars movie? Uh, it's a hard one. You can't put me on a spot like that. But I do think the older movies... Um, are, uh, are better than the new ones. Uh, I just enjoy that narrative a little bit more, um, and I also think I connected a bit more to to childhood memories and thinking it was like so, for new and fresh and cool when I was young. So I think there's a bit of nostalgia love uh, for it, uh, which um, which makes them the best, the better ones. slowly catching up um, come to Spain with cat yeah I, I, I'd like that we just had to get a puppy puppy sitter with puppy sitters for uh, a long or like a week this is not, not so easy to, to do that when you have two dogs right now and especially when one is this young uh, what about Portugal don't forget about it I would not forget about Portugal I like uh, like to go there too. I, I would really like to go explore uh, more countries actually. How's the beard going? <laughs> Growing back? <laughs> um, yeah, slowly but surely. I don't know how well you can see it right now, but uh, yeah, it's coming. It just needs needs a little bit time to heal. I got a pretty good couch to sleep on. Get cat, dogs, and come visit. And not. I think that don't you need a lot of permits and stuff to be able to travel with dogs? Like we would, I would. I guess you could go by car, of course. But let's say if you fly or something, I would never, ever be able to put the rascal and menace in a cage in a plane. Like I could not do that. And speaking of which, the little menace has a walk in now. Give me a little one. Oh, hey! Hey, little tiny man! Hey! 
You want to say hi to all the viewers? You want to say hi to the people who are watching? Hey. Hmm. Hello, guys. My name is Menace, and I just woke up. <laughs> this is this is a new star of the show. Hmm. Say hi to all the viewers, Menace. Look, the camera is right here. Can we look into the camera? Right here. You see it right here? Yeah, here, here. Here? Hey guys! You wanna say something in the microphone? <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but he, he licked it and sniffed it a little bit. So, this guy is still a little bit tired, I think. Yawning. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, what did I miss? Yeah, about about the going uh, uh, down Europe and, and visit places. Um, it's something you, I guess you could do by car. Slovenia is beautiful. I believe you. Never been, though. Uh, never been there. Bye, Sonny. Gotta get ready for work. Bye bye. Have a good time. Hope work goes well. Good morning, Sue. And does Cat listen to your music? Does she like your uh, the style? She did like the uh, Master Mutilator uh, record that we put out, and she had that song as a. On repeat, I've, I've heard, she said. Maybe she has said that to lure me in because uh, our relationship was, was quite fresh at that moment. Um, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. She, I think, I think uh, it's not something she traditionally listens to, but she enjoys it more because I have made it. So, and I'm okay with that. Thanks, I'm going to add you right now. Yeah, go ahead. I'll accept. I'll go accept later. I'd like to play day, uh, Dead by Daylight with you. It should be fun. Uh, is that like a horror game? Uh, I don't think I've played it. I don't have the game though, but... Is it a free game or does it cost money? Call of Duty. Was addicted to it in the past. Now it's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, um, I haven't played Call of Duty, oh, I have played Call of Duty, but I don't have the, the latest Call of Duty game. Uh, the FPS game that I play most is Counter-Strike. Um, but a lot of my friends play Call of Duty on console. What's your favorite thing about Greece? Um, I think... Uh, when I when I was in Greece with my family, I wasn't that young, so I, I can't say that I appreciate like I uh, was old enough to appreciate it as much as I would today. But I think the food was really cool. Um, we ate a lot of lamb, um, that it was cooked really nicely. So that I did enjoy. Nice to see you live, Sonny. Moscow is watching you. Hello, Moscow. Or Moscow. It's the right pronunciation, I guess. Hey, little lick man. Are you licking everything? Or are you just eating my beard? Hmm. <laughs> Can't just wake him up and put him on the spot like that. Yeah. Sorry, I should have warned, uh, warned him first so he could... Get ready in makeup. Um, does the stay training? Uh, how's the stay training go? It goes really well actually. Um, in most most uh, times that they eat, a rascal gets his food, or like all the times, rascal gets gets his food first. Um, but 
most times when we do that now he can accept that and sit and wait while Rasslow go get goes to get his food without us saying anything more than that we can say we can tell Rasslow go ahead without menace going to his food so he'll wait for us to give the command that it, that allows him to go eat after, after we have uh, made Rasslow go so uh, that's all good it's going better uh, and it will just keep practicing All metalheads have their their own soft spots. Yeah, I'm, I I'm, I'm sure all of them do, as well as me. Do you want more dogs, or are two enough? Um, two is enough. Uh, I really feel that. Uh, I I uh, from the start I really wanted Rascal to have a friend, uh, someone to play play with because of course we're gonna play with him, but, um, for him to get, um. The full play experience that he really wants, then he would need to have another dog friend, and uh, yeah, it's nice to have Menace here now. So uh, yeah, but I, I will enjoy it even more when Menace grows up to be a little bit older, older, so they can play on even terms a little bit more. What would you recommend if I go to Sweden? Uh, talking about weather places to visit and kind of, kind of stuff mm. uh, the weather I wouldn't expect a lot from the weather um, but um, what place to visit mm. that depends on where in Sweden you're going because I mean I, I, I could recommend you to to, um, to go somewhere if you, if you tell me where in Sweden you're going I guess um, because there's a it's not like you can just go around in in all of Sweden. That would be. I mean, of course you could. <laughs> I think Stockholm is probably a pretty pretty nice like tourist uh, town. Um, but uh, I mean, I'm I'm in love with my town, Motala. It's just it's just a small town, but I'm in love with this place, and I grew up here, and and um, so. I could definitely recommend you to different places to go to if you were to visit this town. Catherine donated 20 crowns and said, hey, nice dog. Did mommy just give you money, Minis? Did mommy just give you money? Yeah, she just gave you 20 crowns. What do you want to buy? What do you want to buy for the money? Maybe, maybe you want to buy a marrow bone for that money? That money would give you a pretty big marrow bone. At least half a kilo. Does that sound like something you'd like? He's not psyched at a lot right now since he's just <laughs> woke up. Dead by Daylight is a um, paying game where you play either slasher or is victim to try and escape. Oh, I, I see. It's like the Friday the 13th or whatever, right? Like there's one killer with a hockey mask-ish and then uh, a bunch of people trying to uh, live live uh, through a certain like timer, right? Uh, I've seen people play that. That's a, that. That seems super fun. I really that I would really like to play that game actually. Um, that would be super fun. You can't find me on Steam. Mm. Okay. Um, my like the my account's name is. Uh, Shawcore 1337 so it should work um, my my name on Steam right now is this I'll, I'll type my my nick I think the adding system in for friends in Steam is so dumb you can never find the people you're looking for um, that's my name on Steam right now or like my nick that I'm using at the moment uh, and the picture 
if there's any more people that has the same name, the picture is a little animated boy with a like a small king. It's an animated boy with a crown, um, which is the Caramel Kungen, means the Candy King. It's a insider joke, by the way, so it's not supposed to be serious. It's just an inside joke that uh, there's no need for me to go through. It's way too, way too long. Uh, what you rank on CS:GO? I feel like I've asked you before, uh, but it's probably changed. Right now, I'm like gold or something because I haven't, I didn't play that game for over half a year, um, and then I played like one or two games with a bunch of friends the other day. And like I've, I've lost my ranks between every time that I've played uh, the latest times and then you get a new rank once you play that game. But when I did play it a lot, I was uh, Lem, Legendary Eagle Master or something. Um, and all my friends that played that game were a global elite, but uh, they're a lot better than I am. You and Katrin should play games together, it'll be funny. <laughs> Will the new song be called Renegade? <laughs> so Flaskanen uh, in the chat, by the way, is uh, Ar Ariat Summit's uh, guitar player. One of them. Uh, not Katrin's brother, but the other one that we call House. You can go see him in a bunch of my day with a band video when he doesn't like to be in the video. He's a little bit camera shy. Um, so uh, you, you should go watch him in the day with the band vlogs and also say hi to him in the chat. Dead <laughs> uh, by Daylight 15 pounds on Steam at the moment. Ish. Um, do you have any dog tattoo where you plan to get one? I want to get one in the future. Uh, like a, if if I found an artist that's really talented in dog portraits, uh, that is uh, like not too far away. Like, like he would need to live in Sweden. Um, then uh, I would definitely want to get the portraits of both Rascal and Menace. Um, Man is going to sleep out of the house with the streaming money to buy snacks. <laughs> yeah, well, if you go by the little menace nest or rascal nest that this guy has, he will definitely do that. He's such a menace. He really lives up to his name. Oh, the music is gone. Come on, Sonny. Stay on top. Uh. Now we can start with lyrics. Yeah, I'm at, now I'm finally caught up. But you know what I feel now? I need to pee. And I'm quite sure that Menace needs to pee as well because he just woke up. And that means pee pee time for the puppy. So um, I'm gonna just go. Um, I'm just gonna, uh, gonna go and pee the puppy. And then I'm gonna pee myself. Then I'll come back. Then I'll catch up with the messages again. And I promise you, it'll go faster this time. And um, then we'll start writing the lyrics. But in the meantime, let these tracks go through. Listen to the tracks. See if you find any inspiration. Maybe you can help me with this. Um, so, uh, yeah. As Hernan said, everyone go pee. Everyone goes, goes to pee at once and I'll meet you back here soon, okay? Be right back. Oh, 
Hello. Donate money. We're poor. I need to get back to work now. Goodbye. And now I'm back. Hello, guys. see here what have I missed that door was kind of creepy did you hear the did you hear the um, the do uh, outside door that it creaked <laughs> it sounded like Dad jokes contest. I would be pretty good at that, I'm sure. Name the song Ocean, no questions, yeah. Oh, you, did, you didn't get the start in time? Need to lube that baby up. I hope you're talking about the door. <laughs> and no, you write a song about the little puppy. Yeah, my song t my song tends to be a little bit darker um, than that. I don't know if you've read any of my like previous um, lyrics that I've written. I'll um, this this uh, I'll uh, just link out a lyric from an old song. Uh, here so you can read I'm just gonna change so it's all lining up well and then you can read and see the typical kind of lyrics that I write it 
just need to line it up so you all can see. And don't get scared off by this. Um, I like. I like to write obscene and dark and evil lyrics. That's um, that's what I do. Let's see here. Also, you might notice that I'm a lot for for rhyming. I get that you can't read it as I go along right now, but the point is more that I just line it up right so I can go through it later. Okay. The song, I'll delete this now, but the, the, the song is called Jeffrey Gain and it's inspired by, it's not inspired by, but the name is the two different serial killers. Um, and I don't idolize serial killers, it's not that. It's more that the metal, for me, is a lot about shock factor, and uh, Jeff Regain is the best song from Marathon, yeah. Yeah, it is a pretty catchy, uh, catchy chorus, actually. Da uh, Dahmer and Ed Gain, yeah, correct. Very sharp of you. You're gonna write some songs in Swedish too sometimes, or is it solely English? Um, it's solely English. I think that Swedish is not... Personally, I don't think Swedish is a good language to write lyrics in. I, don't, I think that a lot of things sounds very corny when you put it in Swedish. And maybe that's the way it sounds for English people writing English lyrics as well, but... Um, I just feel like Swedish is not a good songwriting uh, language. That's my opinion. You can think what you like, but um, that's how I feel about it. So I don't really like uh, Swedish lyrics. Um, there is a few Swedish artists that can pull it off and do uh, does it well. Um, but they are in the extreme minority. What color is the background of your Steam profile picture? It should be white. It's white and then uh, a little a little king that uh, does like a power slide on his knees. Mm, I'll look at that link Sadie and see if I can see that it's me. Where do you put that link? You know, like, is it? Uh, can you put it in the web browser or something? <clears throat> See here. Yeah, that's me. That is me. Uh, the one you linked there is me. Have a good day, Sonny, Katrin, and world. Bye from Europe, Slovenia. Uh, have a good day, Rudy. Have a good day.
Uh, so do you have any idea what the so Luke should be about? I have a few ideas in, uh, in my head. Uh, I'll scroll down a little bit if you want to keep reading this. Um, uh, I have a few ideas of um, some topics that I'd like to write about. I don't know what prop, uh, which one of them might be appropriate for YouTube and this stream, but I'll I'll uh, come up with or I'll decide for one of them, I guess. Cat says we're <laughs> she's starving. Are we doing food boxes? Yes, cat. We are doing food boxes today. We have. If you want to know, the food box selection of today is follow carb in oven uh, and rice. We have two boxes of that, and then we have one uh, enormous box of uh, mince meat and pasta uh, casserole. I guess you would say it in English. Um, and that can be split into two so if you want to eat that then please heat up half of it for me as well and this would be a mukbang stream all of a sudden and if you want to eat the follow carbon rice then you go ahead and do so and for all you viewers who are not cat then yeah you don't, you just ignore that last 10 seconds. So now we're actually caught up again. And I guess some of you have read these things. But that's the kind of lyrics that I like to write. A little bit obscene, a little bit dark. Shock factor lyrics. <clears throat> so let's see, what is the song gonna be about? I have some notes on my phone. When I get sudden bursts of inspiration for song topics or song like lines in uh, in songs, I usually write them down on the phone. And at the moment, face break it doesn't have. There it doesn't exist any uh, lyrics for Facebreaker, uh, Facebreaker at the moment, so it, um, I was actually thinking that we could do a title track uh, that is called Facebreaker, because that's that's a very common thing that bands does like their first song or one of their first song on their first album or first EP uh, is self-titled. So I'm I would be okay with that. Neither like there's not a lot of my um or actually none of my previous bands I think. You actually one of my previous band has had a self-titled song. And that was the hardcore band placing the blame. And that one you can actually find on Spotify because that uh, there's two records up with that band on Spotify. That was my Mutala friend uh, that we had a hardcore band that we played with uh, a little bit more than a year back and we did two EPs with that band and both are on Spotify Okay, so let's do a song titled Faith Breaker. Music is that again. That is correct. It just keeps going in my head. <laughs> uh, thoughts on Vulcan remind you of the good old D2 days. Um, yeah, well, kinda. I mean, it has a lot of similarities, um, and the game creators are inspired a lot by Diablo 2, uh, which a lot of uh, hack and slash uh, creators seem to be. 
So yeah, I, uh, so far I think it's really cool, and I'm really interested in where it's gonna go. But uh, it hasn't. Um, it's not. I mean, it's uh, it's alpha, so there's a lot of things that are not yet implemented. Uh, multiplayer, for example, which is a really big factor for me. Um, so. I think it's gonna I, like I my hopes are that it's gonna be great. That's why I bought it because I believe in the game. Um, so I just hope uh, that it'll keep being a good experience for me. Hello, Laureen. I'm all well, how are you? <laughs> D2 Craig Atom, yeah. The great game. D2 Rune Word next tattoo, Hampus Gentle. Yes. If you start playing World of Warcraft again, then I will tattoo a Rune World. Ja, it beer. On. In my. Where, where do I have space for it? On my leg, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I, I write yeah, it beer on uh, uh, on my knuckles, like a long rumored. Alliance, uh, definitely horde. I'm a horde, horde for life. Yeah, uh, it's too too long ago to remember four four uh, rune words. But isn't Hoto heart of the oak? Isn't that uh, four rune words? You look like you were foundation. Is that Katrin's work or nature's work? That's nature's work actually. Um, or the lighting. Um, it might be the computer screen that shines in my face because there's no sunlight in here. Start with the lyrics, yeah. I know, I know. Um, Yeah, this this webcam is actually really old. So, first off, we need to decide a track to use um, to write the lyrics to. I think that sandstorm is a really like catchy. The, um, by the way, the draft name of this song is Sandstorm and I don't know why but you have to ask uh, my drummer why but if you listen to this intro groove I think it's a really groovy uh, beat that goes into a good breakdown and then moves on very slow tempo during the whole song Yeah. Okay. Let's let's uh, pick. Uh, God damn it! Can I just stop? There we go. We're gonna remove the other songs. Let's see. Where do I do that? Hmm. 
Maybe I can actually just mark that song and have it on repeat. Okay. So we're doing it for Sandstorm. Which will only be a placeholder name, it's not something that's gonna keep going by the way. Why the heavens put new sandstorm in the PUBG map? Yeah, I agree. They should. <laughs> Good, then, Nani. You need to get it all out. Well, uh, I hope you have a good time at work. Have a good day. Yeah, like um, Hansa, you like a uh, fade in. Um, it's just a really nice groovy. Groovy riff like that. So we need a strong start statement. I also need to open up two pages that I, I used when I write lyrics. Um, one is a dictionary uh, when I don't know the words that I'm looking for in English because of course I'm not a scholar uh, in English. Um, So we need to have one of those opened. And then I also like to have a site called Rhyme Zone opened. Um, which, um, when I'm having a hard time looking for uh, for a rhyme, because I, since I like to rhyme in my songs, and if I have a word in the end of a sentence that I want to rhyme with, then uh, I type it in in this page called Rhyme Zone, and then it gives me some suggestions of other words that has the same ending. And if I find any of those useful, I might use them, and if not, I might change the word uh, to to a synonym. Um, Uh, that might rhyme better or maybe if I want like um, um, a word that goes uh, instead of two I don't know how to describe this in English but instead of two uh, when, when um, my name for example Sani it has like two um, This, the O and the Y is some the, the things you pronounce in the name, so it has two beats in it. So I'm, if I'm gonna sing Sani, I'm gonna sing Sani. Like, so um, that is twice the beat. And sometimes you might want a longer word uh, so it fits into the beat or the rhythm that you're looking for. Um, and then you can find a synonym to Sunny, which would be a word in that scenario uh, that might be longer and that has more um, beats to it so so it fits in in the rhythm you want to sing in so that's um, that is what I do also sometimes I want to say a word but I want a little um, uh, uh, maybe um, yeah, a nicer word for it, a little bit more fancy word for it. So in those cases, I might uh, look up what the synonym for for the word is. Syllables, not synonyms. Oh, syllable. Oh, you mean like syllables? Like uh, yeah. I think that's that you're correct, that's what it's called, yes. Correct, correct. A 
Hello, do you sing? Uh, greetings for Latin America. I have to go to work now. See you later. I do sing. I uh, I do scream in a metal band. Um, the beer dip, yeah. Uh, I think the beer dip is going away a little bit. It starts to to uh, grow on my sides now, so it won't show for much longer, actually. Uh, oh, and says the t-shirt actually arrived two weeks ago, <laughs> three months because my lame post office. Yeah, I, I, I know more people has had a problem um, that has contacted me, but uh, I hope that everyone has gotten their t-shirt. Um, and for you who's watching right now, since uh, you are a little special audience, I can tell you that there's more shirts or new shirts coming uh, in not too long and I'll do a video about that in in uh, a few weeks I think uh, because that's when I will get them but uh, you'll see I'm really excited for it the design is amazing you you can view yourself as VIP Uh, I need to update the shirts with Menace, yeah, I know. I know. I need to... Um, also, I need to ask you guys for more, like, uh, subscription for the signs, because... Um, I I used the two ones that I thought was most suiting for, for a shirt. But if I want to do uh, another shirt in the future, then I would need something more that is very suitable for a shirt. Um, but I'm really happy of the designs I got and it's really fun to see what people come up with. Um, but I'll talk more about that in the actual shirt announcement video. Let's see here, one second, I'm just gonna make sure that Sandstorm goes on repeat only. can't help but just grooving along to this beat. Um, yeah, Lifera, have a good day. Lipifera. Um, thanks for watching. Okay, so the Faith Breaker uh, first song is gonna be just about that, Faith Breaker. Our music uh, is supposed to be so heavy that it breaks your supposed faith. see her first of all from the beginning of the beat I'm gonna need to uh, think in my head what what rhythm would I want to sing to this beat first off I would not want to sing at all for the intro until the drums start dropping in so right here Uh, my highest rank in Hearthstone, uh, I've been down to the rank 4. I have never been a legend yet. So here is where I want to start singing.
And here I would like to start with, I'm going to uh, tell you the process. This might be in, interrupting the music for you, but uh, I need to to go through the process, what's going on in my head, head here, so you know what I think. And here I would like to, to, to uh, sing something that goes in the rhythm. And I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just gonna name the syllables now, how I'd like, uh, where I like them to be, uh, approximately. So I will do something. And then that, that would be the first part, and then I will move on from there. So then I need a sentence that will match up to those syllables where I want to lay, where I want to put them. So that would be the first part. Now I'm going to find myself a sentence that matches those syllables at the same time as conveying the message that I want to get across. I hope you understand what I'm talking about here. So now I, wrote, now I wrote the sentence and I'm gonna see if it matches up to what I think in my head. Okay, so it's not exactly the, the, the rhythm I thought, but uh, when I go through it in my head, it um, it works and I, I can do it like this so for example um, I don't know if I can scream without deafening you guys um, maybe I can I can lower the volume a little bit yes uh, from a mic so I can scream and uh, then you'll hear how it sounds together I'm just, uh, now it's really low I know but uh, I'm just gonna check with the levels of the music and the microphone is the same when I scream <laughs> try it like this um, and I'm just gonna blab after after the first part so that you get the yeah I, I'm not gonna continue with the words after this but the first part needs to stay <laughs> That's how I want it to be with them, right? So, I'll go back and raise the volume. So I can speak regularly again. There, we're back. Um, oh, 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 oh. Now complete playing the track in the background. Okay, so that's what that's um, that's how I think about the first part, and that's usually how I think when I write the lyrics, um, and then I just keep going like that. And of course, it needs to like have a, kind of a red thread through it. Um, <clears throat>
<clears throat> I hope you could could um, understand here um, how I'm thinking about this. So let's go from the same part. And now I want to find something that might rhyme or be close to ways in that case. So I want something along these lines to be the follow-up, but I, I have to rewrite that sentence so it works with the syllables I want to, and the syllables and the rhythm I want to get in there. And as you like, ways and phrase might not be a perfect rhyme, but uh, the thing is it needs to flow well together, so you can hear that that they are meant to, to fit together, in my opinion. And I was actually thinking of... Like, this would be an ironic or sarcastic use of that phrase, oh my god. Um, actually, some of the text go on, goes outside, uh, my bad. Uh, maybe we can shrink it down a little bit, so... Let's see here. There, that's better. Then I can move this out. I use this mark up here to see how far I can see on the screen. Okay, that works. Uh, so the intro would go... They call it working in mysterious ways. Oh my god, I'm fucking sick of that phrase. And... Um, so the first line would go in the rhythm that I described earlier and the other one would go like just straight on every word. Oh my god, I'm fucking sick of that phrase. See here what sentence do I want to use here? Um, I'm looking for a synonym to protect. Um, and it's not supposed to mean the exact same um, not the exact same meaning and now it's menace is barking in the background um, see here I'm gonna go into the synonym page And then I want to find 
a word that is close to protect, but I do not want it to have the exact same meaning as protect. Excuse me if I'm being quiet here, but I'm I'm uh, I'm reading um, on this page, so that's why. Hey, Ega asks, what's the size of your schlong? About thirty centimeters. By the way, Marcus Egbert, who just wrote in the chat, is the guy who wrote these songs musically. Uh, he did the guitars, the bass, and the drums. So. Uh, that's the guy, that's my drummer right there, Marcus Egbert. Everyone say hi to Marcus and let him know if you like the track that is that, uh, that he has made. Um, hey Max. Hey Crab. Um, we don't have any gigs in Gothenburg uh, booked. Um, but if there is venues that would uh, have us in Gothenburg, we would definitely play there. Gothenburg is a good city, a uh, good metal city. Okay, so I think the word I'm looking for, uh, more, more than protect, is preserve. Um, so then I'll type the, that word into the synonym page to see if there's any better words that mean, kind of mean the same thing that uh, I don't uh, remember from the top of my mind. Safeguard might be better, um, better for the synonyms that I want to use here. Go again. Good to hear. I might have to move my ass and come see you guys instead of you coming here. Then, <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. Um, but I hope you don't have to go that far. We'll try and we're, we're looking for more gigs at the moment, so we'll try and get out there and play more in Sweden.
Okay, so I'm play, replaying this part of my head uh, over and over again to just think of what something that could follow this. Again. Now I need to check up that the word ridden actually means what I think it means. So we got the first part done, all the way from here. Yeah, um, I was also thinking of that. They say you work in Mr. Jesper Passion. Uh, are you working right now, mister? And I have to change this as well in that case. And this is what I do. When I write lyrics, this is what I do if I have two different phrases that could work. Um, then I write them both. Um, and um, when we actually do the recording later, then we lay both lines and we see which one works the best when it's recorded. Riddled is the, the word I was using. I think I like that better. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot for that, by the way. Uh, right now, you, I bet you can't see. We do, um, we do it like this then, so you can... Then you can see it all, right? No, it's still too long. God damn it. Um, but it's still big enough, so I, c I could shrink it down a little bit less, right? Or a little bit more. 
Is that too small? That's a little bit too small, maybe. I'll take it up one notch. There. That's better. That still doesn't fit in there, but... But we, I know why we can do it instead. Um, we do this. There, so now we have two alternative uh, initiating lines. Do that on every line. Um, what do you mean on uh, what on every line? Uh, do you mean just to make it uh, visible? Because now it's visible, right? If that's what you meant, yes. If you meant something else, uh, yes, say, describe what you meant. So. <clears throat> Oh, you gave a thumbs up, so I guess that's okay. Okay. So the next part that comes after that is this one, the C. One, two, three, four, bow. Yeah. That's also a good suggestion. So now, uh, since you suggest things, I just keep adding them in. Now we have uh, a bunch of more uh, things that we can use. And that's always good. Uh, once you're in the studio, you you can hear better what uh, the best flow comes from, like what what sentence you use for the best flow, and and also usually what makes most sense um, when you actually sing it out, and like what fits best to the uh, <laughs> to the music. <laughs> did you just assume his gender? I did. Well, I didn't. Uh, it's uh, the Christians who assume their god's gender. They call their god a he, so I do not agree with that. But uh, the Christians are sexist, man. It's them who portray their god as a he. <laughs> Fucking heathens, man. Fucking heathens. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. So what I'm thinking for this part... Um, it starts here. I'm thinking just four long, drawn-out words. Um, with a, Maybe with a chorus on top, like, so, like a double-layered song. Uh, or just ambient uh, echo, echoing sounds like that. But I'm thinking here, just a long, long drawn out word, first word, 
Second word comes in here. Third word comes in here. And then the fourth, the last words come in there. And then the song actually starts, to, or like the lyrics start to pick up more in this two-step part, or what you, whatever you want to call it. So now we got to think of something nice to put just in four words. How do you convey a message with only four words? Any suggestions? Um, how long does it take you to write a song or come up with the lyrics? Um, it's actually different. Um, sometimes it just flows. I just had the whole idea and it, like all the line uh, just uh, keeps. Um, yeah, they just uh, flow out on the paper. So sometimes I can write a whole lyric in in like half an hour, and sometimes I write. Uh, like this, for example, I write one part of the song, like the verse part, and think about how I want it. And maybe I just do uh, the verse and then one extra line or something. And then I come back um, so I, that I let the idea sit in my head for a while uh, so I can think about it. And then I can also come back and change what I've already did if, that, if I wasn't happy with that. But sometimes uh, the inspiration just flows and sometimes... Uh, it goes a bit slower, and sometimes nothing happens. You like you sit and stare at the paper. You got no, you got nothing, um, and that uh, I mean you can't force it. You need to feel, feel the inspiration. Otherwise, um, it never works out for me at least. band called counterparts you should check them out I can I, th I, rem I think I um, uh, I've heard of that name uh, by the way th thanks Naden for the suggestions I will just have to look up what some of them mean because I'm not uh, familiar with all of the words Let's go back to that part again, 27-ish. I like the, w the, the word servile, I like that word, we'll put that down for now and uh, we'll see if we can use it the way I 
think in my head. <laughs> the translation was fuck you. <laughs> That's rude. That's quite the rude one. Ser servile means kind of low status, um, lowly, kind of. Degraded, yeah, something like that. Let's go to twenty seven again. As I can think see if I there might be another words I want to use for vial but 
we'll use that for now. It'll work for now. So that will be the fourth. Um, the four words that we're gonna let the ring out a little bit more. Oh, that's right. I didn't think about Serval and Vile being together. That's true. Uh, that's not supposed to be like that, actually. Not in my head. Um, I didn't think about those two words uh, clashing there. But then we will change Vile right away to something um, else. Something that means the same. There, we'll take that for now. Good point there. also thinking of I'm sorry that I'm a little bit after in reading your comments but I was also thinking about puppet because um, puppet and adulator is the same thing uh, pretty much um, but I thought adulator will flow a bit better with the, with the syllables that goes adulator uh, comparing to puppet is just puppet so I wanted the, the more syllables in that one since Psychophants has Psychophants um, so that already has three Adulator has one, two, three, four, right? Adulator um, and then there's the Vulgar Servile so they, they kinda go with the same syllables and Psychophants has three, Adulator has four um, so if I took Puppet they would only be uh, it would be too few I feel that's how I thought about it. But adulator is the word we're gonna use for now. Uh, does the other band members also write lyric or just you? Um, it's just me. Um, I usually let them read the lyrics and have comments about it, but they never do. <laughs> they just uh, say they like them and then we move on and and make the song happen usually but I am welcoming of their critique though um, I usually ask them when with these lines when you have like three different things um, or like it might be a way different than this as well by the way it's not always the same kind of line um, but then I always ask them to uh, tell me which one they like the most um, so it's always nice to have that input Yeah, I get what you mean, Hansa, with uh, switching it up so it rhymes, but uh, I'll uh, I'll wait with that. I like to uh, I always like to um, to try and rhyme the lyrics, but also I try not to over rhyme the lyrics, so so it doesn't get forced in in a way. Um, so the lyric gets worse because you try and force out the rhyme just because you want to rhyme. That's usually how I think about it. 
vicious and horrid are good words. Uh, I looked at them also in the synonym word book there. Um, I like those words as, as, as well. Uh, but also uh, two syllable words like horrid, vicious. Um, so that's why I was looking for something a little bit longer. Uh, Julian asks, do you like Obscura? Um, I'm not too familiar with them. I haven't heard too much of Obscura. I know who they are and I've heard a few tracks, but um, I wouldn't say... I don't, I don't listen to them, so I can't really have a, a opinion, actually. Sellout is a good word as well. I'll actually save that word. Just because I like the word and it might get used later. Sickening is also a, um, a synonym that um, I thought of sickening, that's three. Um, that could actually work here. Um, wait, no, uh, nothing. I take that back. That's supposed to be two syllable, two syllable, three syllable, four syllable. Um, if anything, I would change one of these, um, and that would probably be adulator. If if I would change one of these words, it would be adulator, and then I would want something that has three syllables instead of four. Um, but it would have to mean the same thing. Um, so if you can come up with that, then then I guess I might be changing that, but I don't have a problem with uh, these two having three and this one having this one having three and this one having four syllables. That's I'm okay, I'm okay with that right now. So I can move on with the next part of the song. Uh, so now we have this. <clears throat> Do you guys want me to? Um, to sing this through, to show you how uh, how I thought about it in my head. I can uh, lower the volume again and do the same thing as I did before. Okay, I'll go through it. And uh, it's uh, much appreciated that you that you're helping, guys. That's the whole point of this. Uh, lyric writing thing. I thought it would be fun to interact and try to do something a little bit together. Okay, I'm gonna lower the volume of the mic now and uh, and then uh, sing it. So it's something along those lines. Um, something along those lines that I'm thinking about um, in my head, how I want it. Um, and um, I can't sing uh, perfectly now when I'm sitting down. 
I need uh, a little bit more gut support, so I need to stand up if I want to make it sound really good. Um, but yeah, that's that's um, how I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Honta, I agree. Um, I might change the rhythm of them or how I uh, wh where I start singing them because now it's like two of them starts when the uh, when that uh, bar starts and two of them starts um, a few bars in to the to the beat if you understand what I mean. So I might change when the, I start singing in every word, depending on on uh, how it sounds. But that's uh, a lot easier to hear when you're like recording it and you lay the chorus on top of it. Because maybe you want a double layer chorus, so you have the light screen as well. Uh, not only the dark one, like you, one dark and one light screen, you put them in layers, or you just have it like one uh, dark screen starts and the light screen comes as uh, um, echo kind of like so it dark screen first then echo dark screen again and and they go in layers like that instead so that's a little bit easier to hear when you actually uh, record it because then you can put uh, like I can't sing both light and dark on top of each other alone <laughs> right now but uh, yeah Uh, thanks, man. All right, thanks. <clears throat> scream, not cream. Yeah. <laughs> Use the cream. <laughs> when you cream and growl together, maybe uh, drinking cream gives your throat this extra moisture and thickness that you need to be able to do good growls. <laughs> when you growl sounds creamy. Okay, um, but guys, I think um, I have been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes right now, and it took a while to get this uh, thing going, but um, I think that I'll, uh, I'll have to take a break here to be able to eat something, and, uh, but if you did like this, um, if you liked this, um, format that we're doing right now then I, I'd gladly do it again because this is a lot of fun um, <laughs> do a mukbang um, but this is a lot of fun and um, of course this is gonna be up as a video on um, on YouTube uh, after this uh, stream ends I think so that'll be a long video and if you want to if you want to hear it again or if you want to see and be part of this again just comment below and uh, I'll make sure this happens again and next time I'll try to put out the, the time that I'm going live instead so then more people will have the chance to tune in if this is something that they liked even if people see this afterwards and not live um, then I'll try and be a little bit more forward with when I'm gonna put this up or when I'm gonna go live with this kind of stream so I think this worked out great it was a lot of fun um, and um, yeah, next time we'll make it flow even better. So yeah, comment uh, in the comment section guys, leave a comment and, and say what you thought of this. Um, I've had a lot of fun and I hope you had as well. So uh, I will wish you a continuously sunny fucking day. And I'll see you guys next time. And uh, bye bye.